Hey guys, before I start this video, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Tutorial Toucan, who created my new banner. I love it so much, the color, the font, the size is so perfect. They just made a video on how to create your own YouTube banner to fit perfectly and look great on your channel. So definitely go check out that video. I will put their channel and link to that video down below for you guys. And now on to my video. So it's that time of the month, and I'm not talking about the girls' time of the month. I'm talking about going thrift shopping, okay? I want to go so bad and I've been wanting to make a thrift video. This is like the community thrift store so it's huge and it's also way better priced than some of these other thrift stores. So I'm really excited to see what I can find and hopefully I can still go to another one depending because it is Sunday. I know that a lot of thrift stores close early like they close at 6 and it's already like 4.30. Um, so yeah, so go ahead and stay tuned and I'll show you guys kind of what I got. Hopefully I can get some good stuff and I'll see you guys real soon. I finished my thrift store shopping. I want to show you guys what I got because I did so good, guys. This thrift store, so good. If you're in Charleston, go to the community thrift store. Guys, it is so good. It has so much stuff. It has so much clothes in there. It's a lot. So, I mean, I was, I got there like, I want to say 4.30 and they closed at 6 and I left like 5 minutes till 6. I got 18 things for $45. So, do that math in your head. I already forgot how much I said I got. I didn't pay anything over $5 for any of this stuff, guys. But anyway, so this is it right here. But I grabbed a reusable bag, Merry Christmas, from the back so I could just throw everything in here. Um, I'll do like a haul for you guys as well, like actually trying this stuff on. But I just really want to show you just real quick some of the things I got. So I'm just going to show you the non-clothing items. I got these two little containers. They were $1.99 each, which was like... It's not expensive, but I was like, this is as much as a shirt. Like, shouldn't this be a dollar? I don't know. I don't want to be cheap. It's cheap. I sound cheap. Okay. But anyway, so I got these two because I've been really needing something for like, this is weird, but like tomatoes and like olives and stuff. I've been using like mason jars and I really needed like smaller jars because I only have the big ones. Nathan's been making like homemade pizza and stuff like that. And he always mentions that we don't have one of these. But it's just a wooden one, really cute and just something that we could use because it's something that we don't have and so we've realized a few times oh this would have been a lot easier with a rolling pin but some of these clothes are like kind of vintagey or just things i wanted to try out because they were cheap enough where i was like oh, i'm gonna try it but everything was less than five dollars okay that's all you need to know right now this is the first thing i got it's like a little adidas shirt i thought this was super cute look kind of like it, honestly maybe a golf shirt i don't know i just thought it was cute honestly the main reason why i picked this up was because it said Urban Outfitters, okay? I got this for $2.99. And you know Urban Outfitters is like ridiculously expensive. Even if it's cute or not, it's gonna be ridiculously expensive. So this is what this looks like. I got this dress. Now this, I actually looked it up because I was like, mm, I don't know if I really like the design. There are shoulder pads in here. So I was like, uh, is it kind of grandma -y? This is kind of what it looks like, that design. I was like, uh, it's kind of like old fashioned. Is it too far old fashioned where it's like, eh. But the material is really good. It's like heavy and nice. So I was like, okay, this may actually be like a good brand. So I looked up the brand. Their dresses run like 60 to like $100. And I was like, and again, it was only a couple bucks is what I spent on it. And I got this like kind of sleep pajama type shirt. It's just cute. I have one kind of like this, um, but not not purple and white oh i love this i'm so happy i found all these things you don't even know i got this tank top it's kind of ratchet not gonna lie it's just like a small little red tank top it's literally nothing it's from like i don't even know what that tag is and then i got this shirt so it's just like a basic nude shirt there this is what i honestly love about the thr this thrift store is that they have like things for a dollar things for like there's some overly priced stuff like there was something that just because it was like, I could, like, I recognize the name brand, it was like $12. And I know that's still really cheap, okay, guys? I know that is really cheap. But when you become a thrift store enthusiastic, 
enthusiasm when you become an enthusiasm oh my gosh when you become an enthusiastic thrift shopper prices mean something okay when people buy thrifted things and they're like yeah I got it for like six dollars I don't know I don't feel right about that maybe that will change one day and I'll be okay with spending that much but right now I'm like girl I don't got a budget for that I'm looking for the cheap the cheap okay good deals good steals this was a Ralph Lauren so I don't know if you wear this when you go horseback riding or something or if you're just like trying to be cute but okay this is one of those things I wanted just to try out this was only a couple dollars so I was like you know what like this type of pants I know Emma Chamberlain you're rubbing off on me girl okay but I just really want to try it. I thought maybe this would be cute because I have some like they're not Doc Martens but they're from Cole Haan but they're like Doc Martens that's the only way I know how to like combat boots or whatever you guys call them and I thought that would be really cute with uh, like these and the very last thing oh very last thing I got was these gap jeans so they're low rise which is like who are you 2000 but the quality is literally just so good on these they're like not skinny which i don't necessarily prefer but then again i usually just cuff them anyway so i try to look at the jewelry but like mm, it wasn't good it was like costume and i'm super upset because i want to show you guys this okay i got this yeah look at that okay do you see that right over here sorry for my nails there's a missing freaking diamond all right it's not a real okay it's not a real diamond which is fine okay I'm not stressed because I'm missing a diamond I am stressed because I love this necklace now it's missing a diamond and I'm just so sad about it okay so if anyone knows if there's like a way that I can like put a new diamond in there or I can go somewhere or if it's not gonna be worth it because then that's gonna be really expensive to put a big diamond in my necklace because I paid like I don't know like ten dollars for this expensive compared to a thrift store just saying I saw a thrift store and I really liked it so I was thought it was so cute I wear it all the time and then I saw this happen the other day when I wore it it was just gone okay so I'm very upset so if anyone has any recommendations please leave that down below for your girl that is it for that haul okay guys I'm so excited I am so hungry so I need to go eat something and then I have to go see Nathan because I miss him and I want to go hang out with him so thank you so much for watching right now um, I'm not gonna go anywhere uh, I'll be back in like two seconds because I want to actually try on these clothes for you instead of just showing them to you because that's the fun part I'm gonna go ahead get myself a little acai bowl and then head home and we'll probably just try on that stuff tomorrow for you guys it's now the next day and it's time for the try on haul so this over here is the whole pile of clothes that I have a few of the items I did get I they're for Nathan so I'm not gonna show you those um, but the very first thing I'm wearing are these pants so what I did is just cuff them like here and then I just pair them with these like chunky shoes super cute and then underneath here I just kind of have like a red tank top on um, I couldn't find a black one I probably would have preferred like a black or white but I just couldn't find one necessarily that was like this this is also the red tank top I got from the thrift store it was just a cute crop um, my little pregnant belly is slightly showing so I don't necessarily want very crop things right now but I just know for the deal it was just such a good deal that I was like uh, I'll just end up using this later down the road not necessarily during my pregnancy um, especially as I get bigger but that's how I would style these two pieces of clothing um, when I got them Alright, so this is gonna be the next shirt I got this is actually from Urban Outfitters and once I saw the tag I was like I'm scooping it I don't care if it fits me or not this is how I would pair this shirt here so again it's kind of like a little bit crop I would wear it with skinny jeans and then maybe like a little heel or something like that the very next thing is gonna be this shirt this is Adidas and I'm pretty sure that it's like a golf shirt or something like that but I thought it was cute um, it's just kind of something if you want to be a little bit more sporty so I'm gonna show you guys oops a daisy I'm gonna show you how I probably would just do like a casual like jeans and some converse with this um, and call it an A. Just, this is honestly so comfy, this material, like for this shirt. Um, so I think I would definitely just wear it like as is, uh, just like casual day, or I could probably wear it with some like leggings. 
um, and like some sneakers I could probably do that as well so now we are on to this like blouse so usually it doesn't have this tie you would put like the little button but I just tied it up but I would again just probably wear some jeans and then I'm just wearing my Cole Haan's I could probably put them with some shorts too but I was already wearing the jeans so I was like mm. this is gonna be my next shirt but it just kind of has this like tight band like elastic band that cinches on the arm i don't know what that's called um button down it's very loose and like airy like oh this feels so good like this is just so comfy and most of the time when i'm going out somewhere i'm just i want something comfortable i don't want to wear something cute that's very uncomfortable because i just feel uncomfortable the whole day so i usually go for comfort with for a lot of my pieces and i'm not even going to show you really what i'm wearing because guess what it's jeans and the Cole Haan's again that I'm wearing. Okay, so nothing special. I'll show you real quick. Got my jeans on. Got those same black shoes that I had on earlier. As you can tell, I'm very, I guess, basic. Or I go to the same thing. I'm very comfortable with what I wear. Um, so all I need is some good, like, new shirts that are going to fit me. That they're going to be flattering. But also very comfortable and something I can wear on a day-to-day -day basis. So for this next shirt, it's honestly really like basic. It's just literally like a nude tan color shirt, but I actually don't have any shirt like this. Usually I, I could just pair it with jeans, but for the sake of the video, I didn't want to bore you guys because I am trying to make outfits with them. So I'm going to show you what I did with this outfit here. So I paired it with these white shorts and then all I did was just throw on some flip flops. So this would just be like a day I'm going to like the outlets or I'm just walking around like the beach or whatever it is. This is probably what I'm going to wear and super comfortable, especially on a hot day, which it's been hot. Everything I wear is for comfort. So if I'm wearing something that's not comfortable, it's because I really think I look good in it. If it's not for that, I am like, I'm out. Like I'm not gonna wear something itchy or tight or uncomfortable um, just because it looks cute. So this is the outfit. I actually love this shirt. So everything has fit so far, thank goodness. Um, and I think I have, I have four pieces left. So we're almost there. So this very next thing is just your basic tee. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what the heck that even is or if it's college or what it is, but you know, you never go wrong with an oversized tee, and this was in pretty good condition. Looked comfy, needed it. So this is how I would pair something like this, even though it's very casual, like a big oversized. So what I would do is just wear some spandex, like bike shorts or something like that. I don't have any bike shorts, so I'm just using like normal black necky spandex. And then I'm just wearing it with some white tennis shoes. So even though this is like a super basic look. Jenkins, are you good? You're always doing something crazy. So this is something that you could just like walk around the mall in or don't sit on my clothes, please. <laughs> so the very next thing I got was these jeans. So they actually fit me really well for not having tried them on. They fit my butt pretty well, but it still works. Um, what I do was just pair it with like the heel. So usually with like a pants like these, I'll wear like a tighter top, like whether it's a tank top or something like that. These jeans are so comfy, like ridiculously comfy. And I'm happy that I was able to find them. All right, so this is the last shirt I'll be showing you guys. This is actually a nightgown shirt. So what I would usually wear with it is just like some leggings. Um, I'm not going to pair with any shoes because I'm probably going to be wearing this around the house. So there's really no point in that. So this is a tucked in, but just like tucked out. I mean, it's literally just like an oversized like pajama shirt. Um, so yeah, there's not really anything much else to say about that. So the very last thing I got was this dress. Now I left like the shoulder pads in. I can't, I don't actually know if you can see that in there. Um, but I just left them on for now. I'll probably end up removing them. This was the dress that I had shown you guys when I was in the car. So it is so comfy. So this is, I wonder if you can see like the design on it. It has this like little slit. I honestly can't tell if it's too dark on camera, like the dress to really be able to see like the slit. It's not really a slit, but there, it's like a different layer here. So this is just kind of what it looks like all around. And of course, paired it up with a black heel. It's still like form fitting. And I feel like even with like my belly growing, this thing is gonna be able to stretch out so I would still be able to wear it when I'm pregnant. 
but I hope you guys are able to see that design. But this dress is so comfy, like ridiculously comfy. I'm so happy I got it. Yeah, so that is actually the end of this try on haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I literally had so much fun going there for only an hour and a half in the thrift store, which seems like a long time, but trust me, some thrift stores, an hour and a half, and you find like two things. I'm so happy with everything I got. I literally spent a total of like $45 on everything and that was with those few items that I left out because they were for Nathan and then I got a few items also that was like for the kitchen. If you haven't already, go to a thrift store guys. Like seriously, you can find some real gems and some real good stuff. And it's always good because you're also like reusing, like you're almost like recycling in a way. So instead of going out and buying a new piece, spending so much money on it and then maybe in a few months like you're over that piece. which tends to happen with me a lot. I buy something even thrifted that I absolutely love. I wear the heck out of. And a few months later, I'm like, uh, I don't really like this anymore. And I don't have to feel guilty because all I'm going to do is redonate it. And then those few dollars I spent is like, I got my worth out of it instead of buying a $50 shirt, wearing it for a couple months. And now you're like giving it away. So I just want to say thank you guys again so much for watching. I know I've said that like three times now. Uh, don't forget if you guys haven't already to subscribe and give it a big thumbs up. And I decided that every video that I post in the description, I always leave like any social media accounts, things like that. But I also am going to start leaving like a daily devotion with what I'm reading because um, I'm reading through Proverbs, right? Pro I'm reading through Proverbs right now. So if you guys want like a little motivation, a little devotional for your day, I'm always going to put something down in my description that just caught my eye while I was reading and just like the what I feel like the meaning was behind it and how it could like relate to in ev your everyday life. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and click down there and check that out. So I'm going to do that from now on um, each video just to help uplift and motivate you guys um, in your daily lives. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.